back to my channel so today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this top so um the first thing i'm going to start with is going to be the uh the shoulder measurement divided by two so i'm going to insert that here so basically i folded the top i was starting with the back panel because the zip is going to be in front so we have the two piece here um and it has one inch of zipper allowance in front and then the width i have here is just the bust divided by four plus one inch is the width and then the shoulder to waist um plus one inch is the length so now we are going to start with inserting our shoulder measurement divided by two after that the next thing is to come down here mark your one inch so we're just going to draw our basic bodies pattern mark um our armhole divided by two also after you came down by one inch right and then you're going to connect it with a straight line down after that i'm going to mark um neckline of three inches is what i'm going to be using here and then connect it to that shoulder slope that you have here right sorry the one inch that you came down by give it your armhole curve remember this one the one on the fold is our back panel the one with the seam allowance is going to be the front because the zip is in front after that you're going to divide the bust measurement by four add one inch to it which is basically the width of my clothes come down to the waist divide it by four and then i'm going to add two inches to it so that's one inch of that and one inch of seam allowance connect the two of them together so now i'm going to just go ahead cut this and cut this part so guys after that i'm going to come down here on the back neckline and mark one inch neckline here and then curve it this way and then after that i'm going to also remember that my dart at the back is just going to use your nipple to nipple divided by two which for me is going to be um eight inches divided by two is four i'm going to mark it here bring it up to the chest line somewhere here and then mark half an inch on both sides so this is basically going to be my dart here because my chest line is on this my armhole line right so i'm going to go ahead and now cut out this neckline here then after this i can be able to separate it but before that i'm going to notch this dart so i can transfer it in front too so separate the front and the back and then remember that for the back panel you're going to cut out one inch above or you just measure from your shoulder to the back shoulder to waist measurement because it's always most times it's shorter so i'm going to cut one inch away from this but blend it into the line across this way and then remove that so that one the waist now i cut off the peplum and then go back in and put in my i cut off this uh, excess here and then i go back in and put in the notch so that i can be able to put in this dart here so now that i've done that the next thing i'm going to do is just to go ahead and um for the front you're going to go ahead and come in here by one inch on this armhole here sorry half an inch on this armhole that should be somewhere at 4.5 because the length was 9 so at 4.5 and then go in by half an inch this way connect it just like how you do your basic bodies right and then blend it into this so i'm going to cut off this excess and then for my neckline i'm going to just do three inches down here connect it this way and then i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so guys if you're trying to make it exactly like the thumbnail because my client wants her own a little bit lower on the neckline without the the color but i'm going to show you guys how to add the color so just maintain the three inches of neckline one inch at the back three in front but i brought hers down a little because she doesn't want the color and she doesn't she wants it a little bit low not on her neck so i came down by at least 4.5 inches and then I also marked my dart in front, one inch before your nipple to nipple. So you're going to measure your nipple, to, your shoulder to your nipple, and then one inch before that is where your dart is going to stop for the front. So that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead now and trace this out on my bias, or uh, sorry, on my lining, which is this here. And then I'll come back and show you guys. I'm going to cut the peplum and show you guys what it will look like. So basically, this is the fabric, um, Akara fabric that I'm using, right? So what I did here, I'm going to be cutting it in form of a circle. So what I did is just to fold the fabric into two this way. And then after folding it into two this way, I folded it into four because we are cutting a full circle, 
right and then her waist measurement that i'm working with is supposed to be 34 inches but if you look at that flare you will notice that it's pleated but she doesn't want a lot of pleats with the full circle so she wants just a little uh pleat so what i did is just to add extra 13 inches to her waist measurement and then i her, her waist is 34 plus extra 13 inches that's about um so guys her waist is 34 plus the extra 13 inches i said i'll add so that's 47 that i'm working with so that 47 now because this is going to be a full circle i'm going to divide it by 6.28 sorry 6.28 is what i'm going to use to divide this so that will give me about 7.5 inches in total so that 7.5 is what i'm going to use to mark the waist of this flay so i'm going to start from the front here and guys her her flay she wants the the longest part of her top to be 23 and the shortest part which is going to be the front to be 20 inches so um if i subtract her shoulder to waist from this so the longest part is going to be 23 which is the back and then the shortest part is going to be 20 which is the front if i subtract her shoulder to waist which is 16 from this 16 from this so for the so that means the back length is going to be about so the back peplum is going to be seven inches the front peplum is going to be four inches like i said she wants it to hang because this is going to be a two-piece i'm also making a pants for her in this fabric so she doesn't want the pant, the top to come down too much on the pants because it's going to be a high-waisted pant so seven inches for the back flay four inches for the front flay so but i'm going to use the back flay to cut everything in and then i'm going to subtract so because of the length that is going to be seven inches remember our waist is going to be 7.5 so i'm going to place my tape here that's the first measurement we got which is going to be the waist i'm going to place my tape here and mark 7.5 all the way around this way just mark 7.5 like this all the way and then after that the next thing i'm going to now add is the extra um remember these seven inches that i'm going to use i need to add um, my one inch of seam allowance because i'm going to be using lining to turn over this but if you're going to be folding it on itself you need 1.5 one inch of folding it to the body and then you need half an inch to join the waist to the cloth but since i'm going to be using lining to turn it over i'm going to just do um plus one inch that is half an inch to join it to the lining half an inch to join it to the waist so i'm going to just do so that means i need eight inches in total so i'm going to mark that eight inches here and then i'm going to place my tape so at that 8 inches is going to be somewhere at um uh of 16 so i'm going to just go ahead and mark it all the way around like this so guys now what i'm going to do is to just cut off this waist part and then i'm going to cut off this line so guys i've cut this out now and cut this out now so this is going to be my play but i'm going to figure out which part i want to be the front right so let's say i want this part to be the front this part here is going to be the front i'm going to open it up now and i want this part to be the front but before that you're going to notch it right notch it in the in four places first you're going to notch it in this edge here and then notch it at this edge also so into four places this this side here this and this here so this will help me know where i want so i want this to be the front i want this to be the side i want this to be the back that's basically so i must it in three places front center front um back front side and back so now what i'm going to do is so since this is going to be our front i'm going to split it open because it's going to be the front right and the front has a zip so i'm going to split this part open and then from this front now i'm going to measure out what i want the line to be like i said the front of her peplum is going to be four inches so i'm going to add one inch to it and that is going to make it five inches and now i'm going to just blend it into the side so slowly blend it in and as you're going you're going to increase your hand towards where the side is right this is where the side is supposed to be so i'm going to just blend it in towards that side right and then now i'm going to just cut this out so that way i have my high low so the back is the the long part and then the front is the short part so let me cut this out now so guys you see why i decided to uh, add more inches to the waist although this person doesn't want a lot of flay but imagine when i pleat it because this pleat is just one pleat towards the back if you look at the thumbnail again so what if when i pleat it the first pleat will go like this the second pleat will look something like this you see it's starting to form this flay at the bottom here the third pleat will go something like this just all of them facing towards the back 
so you see it's giving that shape going towards the back now so this is what it's going to look like all the way to the back as uh, uh, like this so you see it's, it's giving that shape right now so i'm just going to go ahead now and cut the same thing on a lining just place it the same way and cut it on a lining so guys what i'm going to do now is just to take this peplum now and join it to the lining at the bottom part right once i join it to the lining at the bottom i'm going to turn it over and iron it i'm going to cut now into her sleeve you see this fabric is folded into two but i'm going to be using it for her whole sleeve and then the next thing i'm going to do is since it's going to be like an exaggerated sleeve i'm going to come down here like two inches or so because she doesn't want it too um puffy so i can do two inches or 1.5 anyone i want i can do that and then i'm going to mark a straight line across this way and then the next thing i'm going to insert here is four inches of my um cap height which will be somewhere here mark that also in a straight line across and then once i've marked this this part here is going to be my pep my up my top um puffy part right and then the, the, the she wants the sleeve length to be 10 inches i need one inch of casing of my elastic and then i need to add extra one inch just so that her sleeve will be extra one inch or two inches just so that when she pulls it up it will give the perfect puffiness so in that case i have in total about so 10 inches is where the sleeve is supposed to be like the length so i added about 1.5 inches of my casing and one inch of my um 1.5 for the folding in like you know a um, puffy sleeve you need to add inches to it so that it, it take it because it takes up length you need to add more room to it so that it can give you puffiness in both the length as you're adding to both the width right so i need one inch of my elastic casing and then 1.5 for that so in, now the next thing i'm going to do is on this line here i'm going to insert her armhole divided by two which is somewhere here so all this extra here now is just for the exaggerated sleeve so it depends on you the type you're making so i added about 2.5 inches more on the side this is just to help increase the width right we've already added 1.5 to help increase the length i added 2.5 to help increase the width and then i added 1.5 at the top part here to help me get the puffiness at the tip of the shoulder right so now i'm going to just draw in my basic body sleeve in this pattern here just this side is going to be my basic body so uh, uh, from this side now i'm going to rule a line across from here to here find halfway through that line so halfway through this line is supposed to be um about 11 inches for me 5.5 will be half of that give it a curve below and then give it a curve above and then from this halfway through line that we marked here i'm going to just connect it to the top here this is going to help me get that puffiness so this is basically to insert um, the puffiness right so i'm going to notch this top part here and then i'm going to cut this out so this is basically going to be my sleeve now i'm not going to cut off any other thing just to separate the top of the shoulder like this and then when i go to sew i'm going to fold this in this way pass my elastic to it to pull it together and then i'm going to gather this tip of this part here at the tip of the shoulder to give you that puffiness at the top and then insert the the rest like a normal sleeve so that's basically it now i'm going to go ahead and start to couple my own together i was saying about the top part the peplum i've turned it over you see just sew the edges right and then come back into this side and sew it close this way and flip everything inside out iron it down so now you see i have this lining like this so i'm going to set this aside now so now the next thing we are talking about is the top guys um like i said you can go ahead and line yours if you want to it light like you know how already made clothes come very light and so that you don't feel too hot inside of the clothes because the style is already bulky and you don't want the fabric bulky also so it does i'm not using lining for this person here but i figured for the bottom part i wouldn't want to fold the edge of circle you know how it looks rough when you fold it and this will not be touching her body so i figured i can i can get away with adding lining for this part for her and she wouldn't mind but the body once i make a double layer of clothes it will it's not what the person asked me to do so i'm going to just um 
go ahead now and insert so i'm going to take this peplum part now and join it to the bottom like how i told you guys so basically i can go ahead and pleat it before joining it so like i said you've already measured around your waist like i said her waist is 34 and then plus extra one one inch of both sides for the zipper so that's going to be about 36 so i've measured mine so i'm just going to take this now and start pleating it and make sure i have 36 when i'm done so i'm going to find the, the direction i want it to face so i want it to face just like how the video the picture is facing towards the back so this is going to come to the center right and this one is going to come towards the center so to meet the zip so i'm going to start at least two inches away from the edge and then i'm going to fold it to the back and then and then i pin it down i take it up again and then i fold it the sec another time and then i'm going to pin it down but make sure you're keeping the waist the same line right and then pin it down this way pick it up again this way towards the back that's how the one on the picture is just towards the back and then pin it down i'm just going to keep doing the same thing towards the back just make sure your the flare is going towards the back and then i'm going to pin it again so the same thing is what i'm going to do on this side and make sure that i'm left with just 30 the beginning of that one inch of zipper allowance you see is folded now i ironed it down this way and then i did the same thing on this side iron it down this way that one inch of zipper allowance so you see when i went to sew this down and um, my my peplum down um instead of using um your you're going to use just your waist measurement is what you're going to use because guys remember um the the previous um the, the only reason why you would fold this in is if you do not fold this edge right that's the only reason why you would want to add extra one inch to tuck this in but it will look neater if you just go ahead and just start from the edge and fold this in in this way you see so once i come now what i need to do is just to take my zipper this way and start from the edge like this sorry because this zip you can only cut it from the top i'm going to just start from the edge this way and then sew it down because it's a jacket zip right just sew it down this way because this edge here is already folded with a uh, lining and then this part here i tucked it in this way you see if i was using lining my edge will also be like this if i was using lining for this top part i would try to make this edge look exactly like this one and then i just sew everything up all, all the way to the top and once i get to this top part here i cut off the excess leaving maybe half of an inch at the top and then i'm going to go ahead get my band that is going to be just the measurement of my neckline and what i'm going to do is just to go go ahead fold it into to make sure that the width is about three inches of width right so that once you fold it in you're talking you're going to use half an inch for folding in this way and folding in this way and then you, you are going to have one inch of band if you, it depends on you you can do 3.5 inches of width and then for the edge here you're going to reduce it a little bit at the edge like this curve it in a little bit at the edge or if you want it to look exactly like um if, if you want you can still maintain a straight uh, edge this way or if you want you can blend it in this way and just make it look a little bit smaller just shave up a little bit from the edge now maybe like uh, like let's say since it's going to be three inches width of like open this way you can go ahead and remove about let's say you can go ahead on on a fold you can go ahead and remove like half an inch from the bottom part this way so that you can go when you get to this top part now you're going to take it this way and then you're going to by then you've sewn this edge closed like this it's sewn in you've turned it inside out and then you're going to tuck in that half an inch half an inch on this edge and and then take this zipper let me open it up so you guys will see what it would look like let's say i've sewn it on the cloth now i'm going to just take this zipper the way it is it's going to look something like this i'm going to take it the way it is cut off the excess right cut off the excess and then fix it inside of this this neckline and sew it all the way around so i get to the other side and then i'm also going to fit it inside of this so that means when i close up this neckline the, the is going to end wherever this at the beginning of this um thing is it's not going to get all the way up to my collar right that's the this this style here but if you want it to go all the way to your collar you have to use maybe use exactly the same length of zip you will need so that once that so that you can also fold it the way this part is folded this way the way you you have this part like this it folded away and then you sew it down and then when, once you get here you can just completely sew it all the way to the top 
so that once you close it you can also close it all the way to the neck like a turtleneck it depends on you so like what i was trying to explain here is when you go to make your fold instead of 34 inches that that was the waist instead of using the 36 i was saying before i used exactly her waistline because i've already folded this edge there will not be any need for me to now tuck this part in with one inch and then start to sew it's better i just sew it like this and then fold away that one inch on this top part here and just completely do it this way it looks neater this way so i'm just going to take this one like this just the way it is now i'm just going to take it and sew it on top of this zipper on this side like this it will look something like this once i get to this top part i cut off the excess leaving like half an inch because i'm going to use bias to run the neckline and then i'm on this side the same thing take it sew it down like a jacket so that's basically how i'm going to do it now finish it up with bias and then i'll bring it back so you guys can see this is what the back is looking like you see how the pleat is so yeah i'm going to do mine now and bring it back for you guys to see what i was saying here i've i've done this now and this is what my top is looking like you see how neat is, it is now so the inside is looking this way if it was lining you see how it would have ended on both sides like this the edges would have just been the same on the sides so now what i'm going to do is just if, if i was using color i would have just like if i cut away half an inch here this way I'm just going to take the collar and put it on top of this here use it to cover this edge because now if i zip this all the way to the top it's going to fall off because there's nothing covering it because this thing here i've removed it so it's my collar that will now form the the new um gauge for the where the zip is supposed to stop so you just use it like this cover it like this and then sew it all the way around to the other side but this person doesn't want collar so i'm just going to use bias now and um, um, use it to fold this all the way to the other side so i'm going to do it now and bring it back guys um this is it here you see what my neckline looks like so that's basically what i was trying to say i use bias to finish mine off and yeah so guys uh if you want your peplum to be longer you can always increase the length but this person like i said is going to have a trouser a high-waisted pants so she doesn't want this uh the uh, length of this peplum too long you know um we normally like to use uh lining in nigeria like to make our clothes thicker and like make it finer so it has some strength but because where i am is like a very tropical place most people they don't really like to have their clothes too thick because they are not really used to a car so that's why most times i don't use lining but guys if you're using lining you can always try to fit it in like just the way i did for this bottom part and then put in your zip like that finish up your neckline and everything and just insert your zip and that that's basically it so thank you guys so much for watching and please like share and subscribe bye